A wanted fugitive is dead tonight following an hours long SWAT standoff at a local high school. 36 year old Christopher Marquez was wanted in connection with several felonies, including attempted murder. News 8 Steve Price explains how the standoff took a deadly turn. A SWAT standoff here at San Diego High School has ended with the suspect Christopher Marquez shot and killed by police. A captain says he was a very dangerous man. In fact, they believe he was about to kill a woman when they opened fire. The chase through the South Bay, Point Loma and downtown started around 815 Monday night when a National City police officer spotted 36 year old Christopher Marquez, a wanted felon inside a vehicle. He attempted to make a traffic stop on the vehicle. Quickly, that turned into a pursuit. Inside the car with Marquez, an unidentified woman. It's still not clear who was driving, but officers say at least three times during the chase, someone believed to be Marquez fired at officers. He's shot at, at officers last night. He shot at our officers a week ago. He shot at bail bondsmen. He's a very dangerous person. The chase ended at San Diego High School with the two people running from the vehicle and trying to hide in a dumpster. They were quickly spotted and surrounded by SWAT officers who spent hours trying to negotiate with the couple to give up. At one point, they agreed to trade a handgun for water, but Marquez still had a rifle. Then, Tuesday morning, about 11 hours into the standoff, SWAT officers perched above the dumpster noticed the situation about to take a horrific turn. The female had been trying to escape the dumpster. She was pulled back in on several occasions. Uh, the latest of those, she began screaming and begging for the male not to shoot her and not to do this. Uh, two officers saw the male push the female towards the ground and they could see a rifle being brought up, prompting them both to fire their weapons. Marquez died at the scene. The woman was taken into custody unharmed. Police say they are still interviewing her and haven't determined yet if she will face any charges related to this incident. No officers were injured. With Marquez armed, police closed off several streets in this area and San Diego Unified switched three schools, including San Diego High School, from in-person learning to online classes for the entire day.